The Cowboys came up with one, though. How about them, Cowboys? Yeah! Got to give it up. He gets one. He no, gets guys, one. you got to give, give it, it up. up. That was one of the weirdest games I've ever it seen. Was. Cooper Rush season is on. And I know it didn't look good when he came into the game for Dak, and then last week it didn't. Mm -mm. But this this guy can play quarterback in the National Football League, and and uh, he can get you some wins over a four- to six-week period, and that's what the Cowboys need out of him. Because the Cowboys are in that nether region. They, they – I'll say it. They taint in the running for the first overall yeah. pick. Hey, now. And, and – they're also not going to be in the situation of making a losing playoff every round. game for that yeah. or making the playoffs. They need wins. They need wins. They need they need to string together some wins here and and make people feel like there's something. There, there's something going on in the room. And he made some plays. And CeeDee Lamb was making plays, and Rico Dattle was running the football. Defense made some and, plays. And, and some you know, bad plays. Th this game, you know, was very similar to Thursday night football between two division rivals that just don't like each other. And by that I mean you've got a game where there's not a lot of scoring going on through the first three quarters. As a matter of fact, there was only one touchdown um, – the Cowboys had only one touchdown, and Washington had only one touchdown, and they missed an extra point, and then it was on. Yeah, this game was so boring for dude. It was ten nine going quarters. into the fourth quarter. I was just sitting there like, what is? And there was forty one so points scored in the fourth. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm so glad I didn't turn the game off because I almost did. Well, I mean, there were. Let me get this right here. Let me put this in front of me so I can get it appropriately correct there were um multiple gaffes to start this game three missed field goal one blocked field goal two missed field goals to start the game and then in the fourth quarter of this contest i mean the cowboys go up 13-9 and then there's a fumble on the kickoff Oh, pardon me. There's 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 a fumble. The uh, the Washington Commanders fumble the ball on the first play of their drive. The Cowboys cash it in for a touchdown to make it twenty to nine, and that's when Jaden Daniels finally started putting his back foot in the ground and making throws. And a nine play drive, a two point conversions, no good. The ensuing kickoff, Robert Turpin. Uh, pardon me, not Robert Turpin. Cavante Turpin um, mishandles pirouettes and takes it for a touchdown and just when you think it's all over the commanders march down the field get in position for a 51 yard field goal and i'm thinking to myself why are they doing that <laughs> with a guy who can't kick straight <laughs> and why are they doing that when you know it's at the 51 yard situation and it was to make it a one score game cybert makes the field goal then the commanders get the three and out that they need and after that when Jaden daniels found terry mclaurin for an 86 yard touchdown and mclaurin ran through the cowboys defense and i thought to myself holy cow i was screaming <laughs> in my house only to have Cybert miss the extra point. And then comes the onside kick that the Cowboys, for some reason, pick up and return it so that Commanders have one last shot. Yep. Yeah, he got caught up. It, it went from Shoot. Cowboys are definitely winning this yes. to the Commanders have a shot mm -hmm. to the Commanders have no shot yep. to holy cow, they tied it. No, they didn't. They missed the extra point <laughs> to wait a minute. I can't believe they have one last shot because the Cowboys decided to not just take a knee after getting the onside kick. You could even see a shot of McCarthy after the onside kick was returned for a touchdown saying, why, why, why are you doing that? Yeah, it's like, dude, like, just, fall, just down. fall down. Now, now we got to play defense one more time. Yeah. And so. Mike McCarthy, let's give him, we played so many sound bites of him sounding down and out and answering questions that he really doesn't have any answers to because they all are answers that Jerry Jones is going to have to answer at some point and he doesn't have any more runway left on his contract.
after this season. So we might as well play him in, in victory. Hit it. Everything else aside, standing aside, what does a win do for this team after what you've been through the last No, oh, we needed it. I mean, it's been frustrating, no doubt. We've acknowledged that. I think that I think everybody um, you know, in our circles has been very accountable for it. Uh, but I think you're getting a good look at who we are. You know, we just uh, tremendous fight. Um, they, they fought from the, you know, the time that ball was kicked off in the beginning and all the way down to the end. That's what this team's about. You know, hopefully we can continue to get healthy and we got to win this next one. You know, and that was a division game. That's, that's, that's a big win for us. And we got another one you know, right around the corner here. So um, it'd be nice to get, you know, get some wins and get some momentum. In the same way I was saying earlier that the, Cal- the Giants need to show up on Thanksgiving with some serious fight in them. And they need to show up and compete as opposed to being non-competitive like they were against the Buccaneers because the whole country is going to watch. Jerry wants to see Zeke jump into that kettle. And he wants to see Cooper Rush find CeeDee Lamb and have this fan base that has not seen a win at home in six straight enjoy their Thanksgiving and show everybody in front of the country that the Cowboys still can put on a show on Thanksgiving. That's important. Certainly if coaches and players are fighting for their right to still wear the star. And Dallas, after that, has a Monday night at home against Cincinnati. And if they do that, they'll be 6-7 and seven going into a game at Carolina. And if they do that, they're 7-7 seven and seven and a Sunday nighter against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the Jones Mahal. And if they do that, mm-hmm. they go into Philadelphia oh. feeling really good about themselves <laughs> and having a shot. Why not? Only to have maybe this be one of two things. <laughs> a real scenario or Scatman Crothers coming all the way from sunny Florida through the snow just to get an axe in the chest in Philadelphia. <laughs> Danny. <laughs> Quack. Or, or, what do you think, TJ? Yeah. Are we giving you a new life here? You came up with a win and go on to the you thought you were it's out. It's Cooper Rock season. <laughs> Listen. What do you think? You what know, are I, you thinking? Hey, Rich, you weren't here. You don't know, or maybe you didn't know. I, I was given an option to yeah. leave. Mm-hmm. Had to tear the contract up for five years. The, for five years, I had to tear it up. What do you mean? I, we offered him a five-year deal to get out of the Cowboys, and then he can revisit in twenty. Was this when Mike Hill was hosting? Yeah, yeah when Mike Hill was here. Because I said I want to yeah. leave, and you won't let Did me. Did you sign it? I, Brockman drew up the contract. I wrote, I wrote up a contract. We had a witness. Uh, Jay Felly is an official notary. Yeah. He notarized it, and uh, it got and, to the uh, end of the show, and wait, I, I, I handed it, it to him. Hang on a minute. Tore it up. Felly's really oh, an yeah. official notary. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah Felly's well, an official yeah, notary. Yeah. Should we get stuff notarized here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I have notarized. no idea. Yeah. <laughs> Felly's a notary. Dude. Because I've been, wanting, stuff I've been wanting to be a notary for a while, and he's told me, like, yeah. Perfect. Who knew I had two sound engineers with such layers? Exactly. <laughs> with such layers. <laughs> Layered up. Oh, it's easy. Oh, to be oh, Mike's a asking me. Mike's asking oh, yeah. Hoskins was just asking me how you do it. It's not that hard. You just go online and take yeah. the I was going to do yeah. it. Felly yeah. actually did notarize something for me. It's like being able to marry oh, someone. So like, where are yeah. we? Did you rip up a notarized document? It didn't get notarized, okay. but they I were, did we tear were, it up before. Had, you, had he signed it, we yes. would have got yeah. it. Notarized. In all seriousness, there was an Overreaction Monday subject on the Overreaction Monday pod that's ready for you to <laughs> either listen wherever you get your pods or watch on our YouTube channel. Chris Brockman said Bro- the uh, Cowboys are making the playoffs and the Commanders are not. I told him that was an overreaction. Your Cowboys got to start stringing them together. They win this one on Thanksgiving. On, they're stringing on, it together. And then, then, and then and then, tell me you're not going to be watching on that Monday night with Joe Burrow and, and the Jones Mahal. Right? Okay. That's crazy talk, though. That's crazy talk. Remember what there. I told you at the beginning of the year, right? That's crazy We're going to have 11 days off going into this Bengals game, and they're going to come off a tough, short week playing the Steelers. So, But who cares? That's down the road. We're, we're on in New York right now. Tommy Cutlets. Let's go. Mm-hmm. There is less pie. Well, yes. There's going to be more pie because it's Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, Mike. that's true. Yeah, All right. Sweet potato pie. Okay. That's right. I, I, I think it's a pie in the sky, speaking of Thanksgiving. But it takes a nice chunk out but of the they, pie. They had to have it. Cowboys had to have it. Yeah. 
Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.